Hi, so in this video, I am going to take you through a basic tapping sequence that you can use to help you overcome or let go of any negative beliefs, any worries, any concerns. You can use it to change how you feel emotionally. It's really powerful to help you overcome things like pain, stress, anxiety, and it can even work in terms of attracting more abundance and money. So I have used this with clients for many, many different things, but let me just take you through the basic tapping sequence. So if you want any more information, there is a handout which has this tapping sequence that you can download um, attached to this lesson. I also cover a lot more about this in terms of different statements, the science, and a little bit more about the tapping technique in my book, Heartitude. But let me just take you through the basic, basic tapping sequence for you right now. So let's start off with looking at the tapping points. So tapping points we're gonna start with is here. So when you're tapping, you can use either hand, you can use one finger, you can use two, go with whatever feels right for you. And as you're doing this actually, you can switch between the hands, that doesn't matter either. As I'm showing you this, what I might end up reverting into is both hands at the same time, because that's what I did a lot of the time when I was out working with young genocide survivors in Rwanda. This was the technique that we used to help them overcome trauma from what the horrific things that they had witnessed during the genocide. Um, but it's not necessarily, it's not because it's any more powerful doing it with the two, it's just that that was the way that we did it. Whereas a lot of people um, here in the UK teach it with one hand rather than two. It doesn't matter. You go with whatever feels right for you. So let's start with the tapping points. So the first one is what we call the karate chop point. So this is the part of the outside of your palm, which if you were hitting something hard, would be the point that you would, it would be hitting. So that's karate chop point. Okay. Then we have the top of the head. So the top of the head is, if you can imagine you're drawing a cross on your head that indicates the center. So you're tapping on the top of your head, but you're just tapping gently. You don't want to be hurting yourself, but you do want to be able to feel it. Then what we're doing is we're tapping the inside of the eyebrow, the side of the eye. So this is a, just in line with the side of your eye. If you wear glasses, you might want to take these off. Under the eye, so it's just under the socket, under the nose, on the chin. So in this part of your chin, on the collarbone, so the collarbone, if you can find that V shape, that the sort of the U shape here, go out along the bone, come down about an inch, we're tapping here. And then we're going to do under the arm. Now you can do this one of two ways. You can do this like this, which is if it's sort of halfway um, down the side of your body, about, hip to, about the height of a bra strap, if you're wearing a bra. You can do it like this, or another way of doing it is you can actually cross over and give yourself a bit of a hug and do it that way. So doing whatever works. Now, I know this looks really silly, um, but tapping really, really is one of the most powerful ways to change how you feel and to overcome stress, anxiety, emotion, pain relief, all these different things. There's so much science that now evidences this. Um, and it is actually one of the quickest ways no, known to man to reduce cortisol in the body, um, which is one of the stress hormones. So really, really powerful technique, even if it looks really, really silly. So the way in which it works is that we start off with identifying what it is we want to change. So say you're feeling really stressed or anxious. Let's just pick one of them. So let's say um, anxious. And let's say we want to say more than, it's gonna be more than I'm feeling anxious. We want to be specific about what you're, we're feeling anxious about. So say we were feeling anxious about the uncertainty around what's gonna happen because of COVID, okay? And it could be, I'm anxious about the uncertainty um, for my health. So let's pick that one, health, uh, because of COVID or maybe it's other reasons. I'm just feeling anxious about my health, okay? So what we're gonna do is you start off by tapping here. So as we're doing this, feel free to tap along. I'll leave a pause as we're doing this. And we start off with what we call a setup statement. And again, this is all in the handout, so you can create your own. And if you've signed up to group calls or you have one-to-one -one sessions, I can take you through this again. So 
we would be saying, even though I feel anxious about my health, I deeply and completely love myself, forgive myself and accept myself. Now, what I just said there for some people is quite a heavy statement. If you find it really hard, if you honestly feel, oh, I cannot say that, just, just say to yourself, um, even though I feel anxious about my health, I know I'm doing the best I can. See if you can say that. If it feels okay for you, you're saying, even though I feel anxious about my health, I deeply and completely love myself, accept myself and forgive myself. Or I always do the best I can. And we say this three times. So even though I feel anxious about my health, I deeply and completely love myself, accept myself and forgive myself. Now, if you were doing this and you were genuinely feeling anxious about your health, at the start of this, you would have asked yourself on a scale of zero to 10, how anxious do I feel? So you might have said, well, I'm up at about an eight or a nine. And the intention is by doing this tapping, you're going to bring it down. And it is amazing how quickly you can start to feel better through tapping. And one of the reasons we think this may work is that if you were actually genuinely, if you were in a life or death situation, so say you had a tiger running at you, you wouldn't actually stop to take the time to do this. And this, this stopping, the pause and doing this movement, which is actually tapping on the meridian energy lines in your body, is something that calms your body down and it stops the flat fight or flight response in your brain. So then we go to feeling anxious about my health. Feeling anxious about my health inside the eye. Sorry. Side of the eye, feeling anxious about my health. Remembering to breathe and breathing in between each of these. Under the eye, feeling anxious about my health. Under the nose, feeling anxious about my health. And the chin, feeling anxious about my health. on the collarbone, feeling anxious about my health. Under the arms, feeling anxious about my health. And just notice having done one round, do you feel any different? And what we do is we always do this for at least three rounds. Top of the head, feeling anxious about my health. Inside of the eye, feeling anxious about my health side of the eye, feeling anxious about my health. Under the eye, feeling anxious about my health. Under the nose, feeling anxious about my health. On the chin, feeling anxious about my health. On the collarbone, feeling anxious about my health. And under the arm, feeling anxious about my health. Taking a couple of deep breaths, bring that hands down to your sides. And just notice how you feel. Do you still feel as anxious or do you feel a little less anxious? Now, the extent to which this will work will depend on a number of different things, including are we tapping on the right statement? Do we need to be more specific? Or is there another adaptation that we need to do to make it work better for you? So whatever your experience, I encourage you to give it, give it a practice, see how it works. If it does work for you, just keep doing it. Keep using it for every belief, you know, self-sabotaging belief, anytime you feel an emotion you don't want to feel, anytime you feel pain, anytime you want to create something better for your life and you know that there's some doubt or worry or concern in your mind, you could be using this technique. If you have any questions, as always, bring them to the group calls or one-to-one -one sessions if you have signed up for those. I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.